In this video, we're gonna talk about widget testing in Flutter. So what is widget testing and why do we need it? Widget testing in Flutter refers to the process of testing the individual widgets or user interface components of a Flutter application. It is a form of automated testing where you verify that the UI components of your Flutter app are rendering correctly and behaving as expected. Widget testing is a crucial part of ensuring the quality and reliability of your Flutter app's user interface. Now let's get started with setting up widget testing in Flutter. In this tutorial, we will be using this Flutter test package. This package is automatically added to your Flutter project by default during project creation. Firstly, I will be creating a widget for testing. In this tutorial, I will create a simple button widget that takes a string and a void callback function as parameter. Then I will place this widget into the main file. So until here, we have created a stateless widget and added the widget into our main file. Next, begin by writing our first widget test code. All test code files should be placed inside the test folder. This test folder is created by Flutter Framework during project creation. So here, I will create a new test code file. All test function will execute inside a main method. To test widget, Use the test widget functions provided by Flutter test package to define a test. Test widget functions takes a description string and a function as parameters. So here I will input a random description that describes what does this function does. Now comes to the function. So there are five basic steps on widget testing. Firstly, we have to use tester.pumwidgets function to build the widget tree. In the pump widget function, we will pass in our own widget tree. Second step, we use find.text to locate the button with the text click me. The text click me comes from the text that we provided to my button widget. Next, to ensure that a button with click me text present in the screen, we use expect function. So expect function takes an actual and mature parameter. Actual will be the button finder and mature will be finds one widget, which will look if this widget exists in the widget tree. After that, we simulate a tap on the button using widget tester dot tap function. This tap function will execute the on press function that we pass to the button. Lastly, we will execute another function called widget tester dot pump to rebuild the widget and update the UI. Finally, you can add more assertions to test the expected behavior of your widget. But for our button widget, these five basic steps are sufficient. Now, to run the widget test code, you can use the flutter test command. Flutter will discover and execute all the test files in the test folder. The test will run and the output will be displayed in the terminal. If your test pass, you will see a success message. But if there are failures, it will provide information about which test failed and why. So as you can see in the terminal, all tests pass and it executed the onPress function of the button which prints out a test string to the terminal. So this is how you execute widget testing in Flutter. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.